we're going to start discussing what is actually low self-esteem, high self-esteem, and healthy self-esteem. Because people think that high self-esteem is good. And now we're going to see a difference. Between. So how do people with low self-esteem behave? What is their behavior? Any ideas, any guesses? They talk about negativity. Okay. okay, okay. Any other versions? They downplay themselves. Like they may be the best ever, but they say, oh, no, no, not me. Someone else okay. do it. Or they won't own their gift. They, they, they don't see the value that others can see in them. And they. I think sometimes it's the opposite. Like people come across more confident, but they're actually, they actually have a uh-huh, uh-huh, very good point, and we're going to discuss that too. So now, people who have a low self-esteem, how do they act in life? They please others. They please and they are uh, adapt. They are adapt to others. Uh, for example, the person has a really negative attitude, they're constantly commanding, they don't feel comfortable, but they're adapting to it. It's like, okay, I'm gonna be like that, I'm gonna adapt to him, to how he talks, or how he wants, he wants the coffee at 7 a.m., he wants latte, I'm gonna bring him latte, I'm gonna sit like that so he doesn't get stressed, I'm gonna adapt to him. Make sense? Very good question. Oh, but going back, so, Again, low self-esteem, how people with low self-esteem are. They're adaptive and they're pleasing others. They're pleasing doing this and pleasing doing that. They bend themselves for others. Make sense? They're bending in order to please others. Clear? Number two, it's the same thing, but people with the high self-esteem. And we call it in Russian, not even high self-esteem, people who have an illusion of high self-esteem. Clear? These people are protesting. They have a reason or no reason. They just protest. Clear? They have this attitude. No, I don't agree. I disagree. We should do it this way or that way. They don't even have a real reason. That's their attitude. Protesting. It's negative, but it's like, I know better. I protest. Clear? And people with a healthy self-esteem, uh, they cooperate. They cooperate. They understand that everybody is important. You are important. You are important. Porsche is important. Danielle is important. I'm important. Everyone is important. Because when we're together, everyone, it flows. There's no one higher there's no one lower there's no men are bad women are good none of that we're all cooperating clear number two how do these three people feel about themselves throughout the life people with low self-esteem feel that they're victim and how they feel victim they either blame relatives mother father, genes, work, society, that I'm a woman, that I'm a man, that I'm old, that I'm young, that I was youngest in the family, or this or that reason. They just blame and they feel a victim. And they get a lot of juice out of being a victim. Yeah? Because when people stay victim, what do, what, there's something that they don't have to do in life, which is what? What are they lacking? Love responsibility. responsibility. Very good. They don't have to be responsible for themselves and their life. Very good. Uh, people with an illusion of high self-esteem, they, pre they pretend that they're a hero. And they go knock down everything. Like they're the tanks. They don't care about your opinion, their opinion, nobody's opinion. They just go like a tank. They're the first one. They feel like they're heroes. heroes. Yeah. I'm a superman. I'm a bad man. 
I'm a superhero. I don't need nobody's opinion. I'll do it all myself. Yep. And people with a healthy self-esteem, they go through life feeling that I am a student. I learn, I make mistakes, and I allow others and myself to make mistakes. No one is perfect. How do these people look at the world? Uh, people with low self-esteem, they look at, for example, children. I gave you birth, if you don't do what I say to you, <laughs> I gave you birth, you gotta do what I gotta do. What you think so like is... The world owes you yes, and you gotta, you have attachment and pressuring world to do what you think is right. Others don't have a choice or opinion of how it should be because people think, no, it has to be this way and no other way. People with an illusion of a high self-esteem, they're independent. They're independent and they have an uh, attitude in life. I am my own producer. I am my own actor. I am my own everything. I don't need you. Clear? If you want, write it down. And people who have a healthy self-esteem, they go through life feeling that I am a student. I learn, I make mistakes, and I allow others and myself to make mistakes. No one is perfect. They are willing to have codependency because I'm a producer, you're an actor. I'm going to produce, you're going to act. We need to have a codependency, a healthy willingness codependency. You're going to do the makeup, you're going to shoot the video, you're going to do the editing, you're going to do the hair. We all need each other, so we're going to co-depend willingly. Okay? Now, also here, people who have an illusion of a high self-esteem, they act in life as if they're wolves. They're going to attack nine out of ten times somebody trying to prove that they're right and they're independent and they're this bulldozer or a tank. The tenth, someone who is stronger than them will bite them. Because someone is stronger than them. You get that? And so, yeah, they will allow because they're stronger. And with people with a low self-esteem, they will allow those people with an illusion of a high self-esteem to bite them nine times. And on the tenth, they get so tired and sick of it, they will bite. Clear? Because they get tired of bending and bending and pleasing and pleasing. They're like, ah, and they bite. Clear? All right. Now, how do they feel emotionally, these three types? People with low self-esteem feel that they are children. They need to be in the center of attention and they have a very high sensitivity. When I'm noticing people with low self-esteem, uh, I can be around them for some time, but then I get exhausted because you constantly feel like you have to do the eggshells because otherwise they have very high sensitivity and that becomes draining. At some point you're like, oh, no, don't want to play that game. Make sense? And people with um, illusion of a high self-esteem, they have a really big pride and they act like teenagers. I don't need anybody. <laughs> and they're very impulsive. They're teenagers. They're ready to fight and argue. And by the way, people sometimes have both. They jump from low self-esteem to an illusion of high self-esteem. They act like a child or they act like a teenager. And people with uh, healthy self-esteem, they are emotionally grown adults, meaning they have a balance between the vulnerability and the weakness and the strength. They know where to say no and put the boundaries and they know where to talk. They swim between this fragile, vulnerable waters and river, right? 
and the strong ocean. They know where the strength and where the vulnerability is, being weak and being strong. Very fine balance. Um, and they are paying attention not to what's outside, but what's in the inside. They're constantly growing emotionally, internally.